Rossman. Yes, welcome to the very uh, uh, third, very third session of the uh, Leave Your Body uh, Minecraft uh, residency in, in Video Touch. Uh, this is a very special edition because we have uh, Cosman here, a very good friend and uh, a curator I admire and, and director of Parasites. And also uh, Cosman is the, 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 the only curator in the pool of participants and because I would say like you're the, 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 the only curator in the pool, like I would say let's uh, contextualize everything. Sure, yes, that's what we do. Yeah. This is like a, an, another uh, creative intervention by Peter Nelson. Like he was saying, like he wanted to build different layers of grounds that um, kind of almost decentralize. Like kind of you don't you you don't even know kind of where the the like which layer of the whole realm. This is nice. Is the original. I, this is nice. Yeah. Walking on the grass. <laughs> no, like this whole idea, this environment, and the and the and the structure built on top of an institution. Because when we do exhibitions in the real world, and there's yeah. all these conversations of like how to, uh, you know, have architectural interventions in institutions and how to challenge architecture and all that. And yeah, and you know, actually, it's, it's we really hardly manage. So obviously, there's all these possibilities here. That's, yeah, but uh, really spot on, I would say, uh, especially with the idea of decentralizing the site itself. And in a way, even though it's kind of uh, it's kind of a way to move um, importance or level of importance away from or level of significance away from the site, um, it actually expands the whole reign a lot more. So what should we do? Should we do? Are you sticking with one material? <laughs> well, no, but I'm thinking of like whether we should propose like a big structure, like a big bamboo structure. Cool. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Because <laughs> like like I'm working. Because you look like... <laughs> <laughs> You're getting tired already. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's wrong with my back? Or like we, we find a, a play, uh, we find a, a part of the glass structure and we replace it with a bamboo one, which would be more befitting for Hong Kong environment <laughs> and, and history. Oh, we can, well, we can, we can build a new one, but do you, do you prefer, <laughs> do you prefer, actually that sounds great, like that's really, because then Peter built so many anyway, <laughs> leaving in. Maybe, the, how about this wall, like this wall, can we replace this one, the one in front of me? This whole wall, you yes. replace it with bamboos, um, why the bamboo? I mean, it's not just the Hong Kong reference. I guess it's yeah. there's a whole conversation about sustainability and about trying to leave uh, as small a trace as possible, um, trying to make do with whatever is available yeah. uh, from nature. Um, I guess it's also like a little bit of a spirit of being more humble and not thinking that... Like instead of using marble. <laughs> well, marble, but also like glass. I mean, not that... I'm not criticizing, you know, what, what's there, but <laughs> <you> still, <laughs> ah, in, a, in, a, in an interesting way, you know, <laughs> to see. Uh, yeah, like, would be good to see, even if we're in this, like, utterly constructed world and in this, like, strange environment that is difficult to navigate, like, how can we still keep... Um, very modest touch, a light touch, and, and, and keep all the spirit of responsibility from uh, from real life. Oh, thank you, Joseph. <laughs> Joseph is Joseph's helping out. It's like a pandemic response in the way that, like, looking at all the looking at all the uh, online content that's available uh, these days, we want to give also the sense of. Uh, of the sites and the representation, a level of representation of the sites. One of the, um, uh, the main rationales to do this uh, residency is like a, it's like a pandemic response. Because I suppose there are all these conversations now in the context of the pandemic about like what to do with institutions. And yeah. I mean, I guess it's less in Hong Kong because we were in a way lucky not to have to be closed for so long, but in other places where institutions were completely closed. Yeah. For, for many months and there is a conversation of like how to rebuild 
uh, in a completely different way. Yeah, and, and I suppose it, it so has that. So how could how could this project contribute to that conversation? You think? I think um, the, the the availability of a level of representation of the site is is um, um, it can contribute to the 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 uh, imagination of um, kind of uh, representing uh, the the the. The physical attribute of the sites, and um, and and kind of as an experiment to explore the kind of possibilities that you can you can play with. So, what do you want to do with it afterwards? Like, how after this project, will it stay? Will it be possible for artists to continue it? Will it? Will you run it in parallel with videotage? One uh, of the well, the the very first um, uh, say um, the deliverable from this program is that uh, we want to open up. Like after these uh, creative interventions, we want to open up the site for uh, viewing, like the, the yeah. like kind of as um, no. as a product to um, show our audience, our online audience, uh, to, to to see the creative interventions that's kind of affected by the the four participants. But um, the the long term plan is actually kind of like we have we're. We have all these different uh, uh, possibilities of um, uh, uh, branching out, um, like actually the uh, Taipei Contemporary Art Center is already uh, interested in uh, basically uh, presenting this format of the program of the residency, um, but uh, 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 moving on to, uh, to integrate into that curatorial program. So if, if, if TCAC would have their own uh, space like do the people who enter that space will they be able to like travel to, to, to very far to Hong Kong but you know see video touch as well or that's or they're completely different accounts and different realities we are in, oh. yeah we are envisioning having Kato Tepo next to <laughs> TCAC and then building on from what we have here um, uh, to also incorporate the creative interventions by <laughs> You need to get used to <laughs> coming back up. The, that's why I'm very interested in continuing this project. Um, uh, uh, in the conversation of asking um, the future institutions who would like to participate in this kind of program to build on top yeah. of what we have and yeah. retain every all the creative interventions uh, uh, after all different participants. Kind of major questions that I ask all the participants is that, like, how do you see uh, this? Format of the, the the program we we design, like the, uh, as like using this Minecraft as a create creative platform, like using the gaming, using this gaming experience as a creative platform. Because I think when we first chat, when we first had our first chat about it, I told you that I'm quite fascinated by the idea. I don't know exactly how, or I don't know exactly what is the best way to approach it, but yeah. I am very much fascinated by the idea of. Uh, of, of using all the possibilities of virtual landscapes and environments that we have in our culture to yeah. um, that's the word yeah that's the word piece I use like the virtual landscape and kind of de decentralizing the site um, I guess I'm always interesting to well not always I mean there's certainly like an interesting aesthetic uh, uh, dimension to it but I'm also interested in the um, broader cultural and even political potential of like what does this mean to live our uh, real life and, 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 and the environment in which we find ourselves which obviously has a bunch of problems uh, and an increasing number of problems. Uh, so in that context what does it actually mean to leave it and to, to choose to, to, to uh, operate artistically in a different environment and if we do so how do we respond to many questions that are important in an institutional discussion in the in the art field like to create access to reach as many people as possible yeah so I'm not an expert of this world so I don't know which game offers more possibilities for other people to interact with right or to meet other people or to find ways for it to be yeah. uh, I that's so um, there was this period of time like I think around March that there were so many like workers um, uh, Animal Crossing just came exactly. up. Exactly, and there were also like all the political yes. conversations about uh, Animal yeah. Crossing. And, and like, yeah, quite a lot of uh, uh, major 
uh, public institutions in the world like decided to make use of Animal Crossing as a creative platform. Um, or uh, Animal Crossing also on Switch. And then kind of the, the idea, kind of this program, the idea for this program came about kind of almost as a response to um, kind of how I, I found um, that, that uh, it's not very suitable uh, to use creative, uh, to use Animal Crossing as a creative platform. Um, like, like we mentioned, the the like the um, creative uh, the learning curve for Minecraft is actually much significantly lower. yeah much yeah. lower. But I what I what I realized like when I was um, looking at Animal Crossing is that like it takes like at least a week to be able to do what to I'm be doing able now. To do, no, to be able to do something remotely creative. Yeah. The question is whether such an environment is indeed an escape from um, our reality that cannot accommodate our dreams and desires and expectations from an art space. Yeah. So will we then like desperately try to do um, everything like to, to, that we would do in an art institution in, in real life in Minecraft? So would it we would so in this case it would be about uh, creating a mirror image of the world, right. creating a second world of sorts. Yeah. Um, or, you know, in a, in a more luxury situation where this is just an added possibility to our reality, then we would be more free and, you know, we could really just use this as a laboratory for a narrow set of projects that couldn't happen in real life. And I guess in a way this is also a bit the conflict that we are facing at the moment, you know, both in the world and in Hong Kong, of like, what is, how much luxury do we actually still have, and, and how much is it, a, how much can we actually like dream, and how much we can be imaginative, and how much is it about survival, or yeah. about, uh, you know, just uh, keeping things from do you, disappearing. Do you, do, you think, do you see this as a, uh, a space for survival, or do you see the potential of this space as I don't know. I mean, I guess it's depend. It's not something that we can. I mean, I, I would hope this to be something else. I mean, I, of course, yeah. like my hope is not it's to be a space of survival. Right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So of course, my hope is that you know this is just a space for new possibilities and it's something added to our arsenal right. that re reality has to offer. What happens if we are not in the same room and talking outside of the game? Because in this session there was this interesting. Um, almost conflict between like us sort of like trying to have a conversation yeah. as, as individuals and then being this like little cute characters that were running after each other and, and, and building things at the same time. So I think it would be good to see how what happens if these are separated, if the whole right. interaction happens in the game or yeah. if... Um, and, and, and then obviously take that much further to, to different types of interaction. Right. And, and and the, the interaction with the audience as well. Exactly, and, and yeah. obviously for cases of interactions that uh, interactions that would be more difficult to happen in real life, so not things that could, yeah. you know, so... Um, and obviously I can think of many things that are difficult to happen between individuals and see how, how would this actually like happen in, a, yeah. in an art space in a virtual world.